Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if you're new here. I've been a Star Wars fan all of my life, which becomes evident if you look at some of my designs. My War Child and Strongbow designs are definitely influenced by Star Destroyers, and someone pointed out that my last ship, the Celestial Saber, resembled Luke's land speeder, and now I can't unsee it. So I decided to take a crack at a Star Wars ship that you rarely see made, the Nebulon B Frigate. Best known as an escort in a medical frigate, the Nebulon B has a distinctive shape with that slim, long undersection. The challenge in the Starfield, though, would be landing on a planet. The shape of the original does not lend itself to planet side landing, but not one to shy away from a challenge, I got to work and came up with this. This is the Redemption. It is a Class C frigate that captures the spirit of the Nebulon B in Starfield. I managed to keep the distinctive shape, but added a small pod at the bottom to accommodate the landing gears and landing bay. I built this as a medical frigate, so it does have two medical bays in the ship, but also sports two sets of auto turrets and four forward facing cannons to help in its escort role. As with all Class C ships, you will need your piloting skill at rank four, your starship design skill at rank four, and be at least level 60 to access all the parts. I also recommend increasing your particle beam weapon skill, your shield skill, automatic weapon skill, and your starship command skill up as high as you can to get the most out of the ship. Now, before we get into the build, a disclaimer. These builds are designed to serve as general guides for shipbuilding. You can follow these builds exactly or use them as inspiration for your own designs. If there are design elements that you feel could be improved or other parts you prefer to use, feel free to modify the build however you like. Let your creativity run wild. Now let's start the build. We're starting at New Atlantis as we usually do. The majority of this build will be done at our outpost, but we need to make a few stops first to pick up some specialty parts. The first thing you need to do is make sure you have a ship to build off of. I have the Sparrow 3 I picked up to use as my starting point. Our first stop is gonna be the Soul System. We're heading over to New Homestead on Titan. Once on the ground, head over to the ship technician and ask to view and modify your ships. From here, we need four of the NG-20 landing gears, two in the wide variant and two in the normal variant. Now that we have these, let's put them on our ship. Once our ship is flyable, we can head over to our next destination. We're heading over to the Cheyenne system and landing at Aquila City. Head over to the ship technician's hut at the end of the path. Head inside and talk to our technician. Ask to view and modify your ships. We're going to need a couple things from here. We need to pick up our three obliterator 250 MEV alpha turrets. These are only available in a few places and Aquila City is one of them. Now, since these are Class C parts, we're gonna need a bigger reactor for our ship. So we're gonna pick up the SF-40 Sheared Flow Reactor from here as well. We 
Once we have those, attach them to your ship. Remember, since we added weapons, we're going to need to assign them. Now that the ship is flyable once again, it's time to head to our outpost. I have mine in the Schrodinger system. Yours can be wherever you wish, as long as it has a large landing pad on it. Once on the platform, head over to the console at the end of our landing pad. And select the option to view and modify your ship. I'm going to put the rest of the parts list here on screen. Pause the video here and get shopping. Now that we have our parts, pull the parts we purchased at the other places off your ship and delete the rest. This will be our starting layout. Pause the video here, and make sure you have everything. Okay, let's put our ship together. We're gonna to start with the landing bay. Pull that over into the open area. Next, take your armory and attach the bottom front hook point of that hab to the top rear hook point of the landing bay. Next, take your workshop and place that on top of the armory. Now, in order to force the ladder where we want, we need to take an equipment plate and place that on the back top hook point of the workshop. This should keep the ladder all in one place. Next, we're gonna bring over our two infirmary bays. The first one will stack right on top of our workshop. We'll have to glitch it in place by selecting the next variant and then the previous variant and then clicking cancel to place the hab. The next infirmary goes on top of the last one. Next, we're gonna place our all-in-one on top of the infirmary. Our captain's quarters goes next. Now take the one by one and place it on the top front hook point of the captain's quarters. This will be the end point for our ladder. Take the control station and place that behind the one by one hab. Finally, take the 3x1 engineering bay and place that behind the control station.
And that completes our HAB section. Let's add some landing gears. Take an NG20 wide and place that just behind the landing bay. Now to fit our other NG20 wide, we're gonna to need to create a hook point. Take a Demos hull A and place that just behind the first hab. This gives us our hook point. Now put the other NG20 just below the hull A piece. Now let's start filling out the front of the ship. We're gonna use several pieces to create the angular look of our column. We're gonna start with the Stroud nose cap E. That will go just above the landing bay. Next is the Tayo forward sensors. These will go above the nose cap. Next, we're gonna take our two Demos hull A's and stack those just above the forward sensors. Next, take your Nova bracer and place that above the top hull A piece. Take your Demos braking engine and put that on the lower hull A piece. Now take your Stroud braking engine and put that on the upper hull A piece. Now you can see by stacking these in order, we get that angled look to the front. Next, we're gonna place our cockpit. This is gonna to attach to the front of our one by one hab. Now take your ship docker, and let's place that on top of the one by one hab. Let's finish up that front. We're gonna attach the weapon mounts next, but before we do, let's attach the weapons to the mount to make things easier. Take your PBO 175s and attach two on the inside of the mount and two on the outside. Now take that whole structure and attach that to the Nova Bracer on the front of the ship. Now that we got that done, we're gonna fill in the top shape of the ship next. Take a Stroud Cap A, change the variant so it's facing backwards, and attach the rear side hook point to the one by one hab. Next, take a Stroud cowling and attach that to the cap A piece we just placed. Finally, take another cap A piece and attach that to the front of the cowling piece. Now that's done, we have to build out the bottom of the structure. Take another cap A piece, change the variant again, and then flip it so it's upside down. Place that below the rear facing cap piece. Now take the cowling piece, flip that, and place that below the matching piece. Finally, take that other cap A, flip that, and place that below the matching piece. Now let's repeat that whole process on the other side of the ship.
Now that we have the sides done, it's time to fill in the middle section. Take a Stroud nose cap B and flip it so it's upside down. This is gonna go in between the bottom front cap A pieces. Now take another nose cap B piece, and this will go just above the piece we just placed. We'll need to glitch it into place by flipping it twice and then hitting cancel. Now this blends the bridge into the structure. You can still see a bit sticking out of the top, but it gives us a little bit more of a streamlined look. You'll still be able to fly the ship in first person view as well. Now let's move some of the pieces out of the way and move the ship forward to give us more room to work. Let's attach the last two landing gears. To do this, we'll need to build up some pods at the bottom. Start by taking a cap A piece. The rear side hook point should attach to the front hook point of our bottom half. Take another cap A piece and change the variant so it's facing backwards and attach that behind the piece we just placed. Now let's do the same on the other side of the ship. Take one of your smaller NG20s and place that below the front cap piece. Now take the other one and place it on the other side. Now we're going to cap off the structure. Take a cap A piece and bring that over. Change the variant so it's facing backwards and then flip it. Place it under the rear section. Now take another cap A and flip it so it's facing upside down. We're going to place that under the forward piece. We'll need to glitch this in place, so flip it four times and press your cancel command. This hides the landing gear in the structure. Now repeat the process on the other side. Hi everyone, Team Scorpio from the future. After I recorded this video, I came up with an alternate version of the side landing gears that I thought I would share. As to me, it looks a little better and doesn't stick out as much. It involves using some unique landing gears that are found on the Tayo showroom on Neon. What we're gonna do is first clear the landing structures I originally created. Next, hover over the front hook point of the landing bay and select the option to attach. Go to your gears and select the Pinpoint 3G landing gear. Now, we're gonna select that gear we just placed and duplicate it. Change the variant and place it at the last hook point on our landing gear. Now, duplicate that gear again and change the variant one more time to create a middle piece and place that in front of the piece we just placed. Now duplicate that last piece again and put that in the final spot. Let's repeat that process on the other side. This gives us a slimmer look to the bottom of the ship and keeps more in line with the original profile that I was looking for. Now, back to your build. Next, we're gonna place our Tayo side caps. These are gonna go on the hab just behind the Tayo forward sensor, two on each side. Now let's take our Tayo Cowling 4 top, change the variant so it's facing backwards, and place that above the hull A in the back of the ship. Now that we're done with the front of the ship, it's time to build up the back. Start by taking your graph drive and attaching that to the back of the ship. 
The top of the drive should be even with the hab. Next, take your S204 cargo holds and combine them together in a line. Bring those over to the ship. Place them under the engineering bay behind the grav drive. Now take your fuel tanks and stack them on top of one another. Take both of the fuel tanks and place them under the rear cargo hold. Next, take your reactor and place that under the grav drive. Take one of the Tayo cowlings and place that on the top fuel tank. Take the other cowling, flip it so it's upside down, and place that on the bottom fuel tank. Now we're going to place our remaining cargo holds. Take three of the shielded cargo holds and bring those over to the ship. These are going to go in a line, one at the bottom side hook point of the graph drive, and the other on the sides of the cargo holds. Do the same on the other side. We're going to place our shield generator next. This will go on top of our grav drive. Next, take the last Stroud nose cap B and bring that over. Flip it so it's upside down and place that in front of the cargo holds. Let's place our engines next. Take your first one and place it on the top side hook point of the grav drive. Take the other one and place it on the other side. Take another engine and place this one on the bottom side hook point of the reactor. Take the last one and place it on the other side. Next, we're going to take our four tile braking engines and place one on the front of each engine. Now the last thing we need to do is mount the rest of our weapons. First, we're going to need to attach some equipment plates to the top of our ship. Take three of the equipment plates and attach those on top of the ship wherever you want. Now take your three obliterators and place those on the equipment plates we just placed. You can place them facing whichever direction you think will be effective for you. Last thing we need to place is our PBO 300s. I'm going to place these under the top front section of the ship. 
will have two on each side, one pair facing front and one pair facing side. Since these are going under the ship, you will need to glitch them into place. They'll mount fine on top, but for some reason, they don't like to mount underneath. And it looks like we have a spare piece. Just delete this extra equipment plate. Now that our ship is assembled, we need to assign our weapons. Put the PBO 175s in the W0 slot. The other weapons can be assigned wherever you want. Now we can rename our ship. And finally, we need to change this factory color. Since I'm calling this a medical frigate, we're gonna go with a simple white and blue theme. Now that our ship is done, here are the stats before skill and crew bonuses apply. And here are the stats after those bonuses take effect. Now let's tour our ship. Back on our landing pad, we can see just how tall this ship is. This is the maximum height for the ship and it's really imposing on the ground. Another look at the side, this is a big ship. We're entering into the ship's armory, and we find Sam and Sarah just hanging out again. They did this in my other video. I swear these two are up to no good. Now here's our armory, which has plenty of space for a weapon collector. As we look up our ladder, we can see we have a straight shot all the way to the top. Next floor up is our workshop. Next floor is our first medical bay. And now we have another medical bay. And but two is I wanted this ship to be a medical frigate versus a battleship. Above our med bay, we have our all-in-one, which serves as our crew quarters. I'm working hard, Captain. Right above that, we have our captain's quarters. And finally, we're at the top of our ship. Behind us, through this door, is our control center. Through the door in the back is our engine bay. And 
And finally, we have our cockpit. We can see the structure is glitched in here, but it's just a visual glitch. And that's the end of our video. Please hit like and subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. I'm Team Scorpio, and I'll see you in the next video.